It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, Killers of Sandy Gulch. Now, you won't find the name Sandy Gulch on any map because after a crucial fight between law and order on one side and lawlessness on the other... The town was renamed and has borne a spotless reputation since then. But in the early days, it wasn't easy going for law and order. Decent people were afraid to go out in the evening. The day the trouble really came to a head was one Saturday. A little main street was crowded, for they were holding a trial. The defendant, William Taylor, was accused of killing the genial and honest banker Watson. As the verdict is being handed down, the shirt-sleeved jurors and judge squirm uneasily in their chairs. Will the prisoner stand and face the bench? Uh, it is my duty as judge of this court to weigh the evidence and facts in this case. It was a plain case of murder. You, William Taylor, has admitted being there, and you had a reason. You've had a fair trial, and you've been proven guilty. Come on and get done with the talking, judge! So we can get to the hanging. Biggie Griggs, you're out of order. If I hear any more, I'll clear the courtroom. Order! Order in the courtroom! It is the sentence of this court that you, William Taylor, be hung by the neck till dead. Well, that's it, boys! What are we waiting for? Biggie Griggs, if you or any of your rotten gang lay a hand on the prisoner, you'll regret it. And I'm backing my orders with this six gun. We ain't waiting for law. It's too slow. Come on, boys! Get Taylor! He's getting away. Head off the killer. He's riding off. The prisoners escaped. Get the horses, boys. We'll get him and do our own hanging. Put your eyes back in, California. What's wrong? It, 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 Taylor, he's escaped. The killer's loose. Now, now, calm down. One thing at a time. I was in the courtroom at Sandy Gulch, and they was going to hang Taylor for the killing of Banker Watson. Who's uh, they? Well, uh, 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 what I meant was, uh, he's guilty as all get out, and Biggie Griggs. Oh, I he... thought that name would be mixed up in it. But he was going to lead the posse in the hang. And, uh, Why? Uh, well, he, uh, 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 gosh, uh, come to think of it, uh, why, you're right. Biggie ain't the law. <laughs> now, suppose you put down the supplies and start at the beginning. Yeah. Well, like I said, Taylor was guilty. He sure looked it, too. Had the look of a killer in his eye. But the important thing is, Taylor did get away. Yeah. Taylor got, uh, 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 why, Hoppy, uh, hop along Cassidy, you mean you're glad this Taylor beat the law? No, it's not that, California. But Judge Calhoun's a fair judge. Fair judges have made mistakes. Why, I'll be a banty-legged cowpoke the rest of my life if you ain't back in the hand of this Taylor. Maybe I am. Ah, I can't believe it. Uh, not you, Hoppy. Why was Biggie Griggs so anxious to get the hanging over? Oh, uh, well, why? Uh... Why didn't Biggie let the law take its course? Well, he... Why did the sheriff himself tell me that he didn't think Taylor did the killing. Oh, cut it out, Hoppy. Ain't no use to argue with you. Or ought to learn that you always got some darn good reason for thinking the way you do. California, you know I'll go the limit of the law to, to run down killers. But at the same time, if I think a man's getting a raw deal... I know, Hoppy. You'll fight like a bear cat to prove it. So, uh, you're thinking Taylor's innocent? Until a few things are explained to me, yes. Well? We've been riding together a long time now. You ain't never been wrong yet. <clears throat> well, uh, what do we do now? I wonder who this is. Hmm. I have to see Mr. Cassidy. Well, uh... Please, I must see him. This minute. Come on in, I guess. <clears throat> Howdy, miss. I'm Mr. Cassidy. 
pop along test today. That's right. I'm Mrs. Taylor. Mrs. Taylor? You've hmm? got to help me, Mr. Cassidy. you just got to. Now, you're kind of upset. Just sit down a minute and tell me what's wrong. It's my husband, William Taylor. They're going to hang him. You mean if they catch him? You know? We were just talking about it. Oh, please believe me, Mr. Cassidy. William wouldn't kill anybody. He's in a strange town. He's being made the goat for someone else. I kind of felt the same way myself. Then you'll help me. On one condition. Where's your husband now? Uh, I can't tell. Then I'm afraid I can't help you. But you'll turn him over to the law. Mrs. Taylor, you came to me because you thought I'd help you. Yes, yes, I did. The man down at the bank said you were the only one who could help me now. Then I'll do what I can if you'll trust me. All right, Mr. Cassidy. I'm sorry. Good. Then take me to your husband. If he can convince me he's innocent, I'll do my best to clear him. Very well. From now on, his life is in your hands. He sure picked a whopping good spot with all these caves around here. Yeah. This is the place. Oh, you better go on ahead. There might be some shooting if he doesn't see you first. William? William? I see you. You're covered. Oh, please, William. These men have come to help you. I don't believe it. But it's Hopalong Cassidy. He's the law. Looks like you don't need no help, Hoppy. Mr. Taylor, your wife seemed to think you needed help. What's the use? They'll get me anyhow. Oh, that's right, William. Put down your gun. Mr. Taylor, I can't help you till you give yourself up. I can't. They'd hang me. They got a noose ready now. You'll be in custody, but only the sheriff will know where. Oh, please do as they say, William. Please. They'd break in that jail in a minute. You won't be in the jail. You'll be at my ranch. You see, William, it's the only way. Well, if there was some way we could ride away from here. Well, well they just follow you for the rest of your life. Well, all right. I don't know what else to do. Ah, that's right. Now it'll be dark soon. Suppose you tell me what happened. Well, uh, I saved a bit of money from the ranch. I always wanted to get into mining. Read an ad in our paper back home in Tennessee saying a half interest in the Diva Mine was for sale. Diva Mine? <laughs> Why, that ain't give up nothing but rattlesnakes for ten years. Why, at California. So Sarah and me came here. I bought $12,000 along. Where's the money now? Stole. Somebody come to the hotel, said Banker Watson wanted to see me at his house, and so I went, and I took the money with me. And somebody knocked him out, and when he came to, the money was gone. Why, then, thieving coyotes. I, uh, California, I, uh, California. Go on, Mr. Taylor. Well, I, I was just going in from the street to the banker's house when I heard a window crash out. I didn't know what to do. Just then, something hit me. You know the rest. Ah, that sounds honest. Well, let's get back to the bar 20. And I want to ride in and have a little talk with Sheriff Bates. Well, if it ain't hop along, must be something important to bring you to town. Is a man's life important? Well, according to whose it is. <laughs> Mine is. Uh, to you, yes, Sheriff. Taylor got away today. Hey, got any news? You know where I can find him? You're the man with the star, Sheriff. Uh, doggone it, I thought you had some news. Biggie Griggs and the posse are still out. Why is Biggie so anxious to tie the knot? Why, uh, I don't rightly know, just helping. And you know something, Hoppy? Taylor's the first killer I ever felt sorry for. Probably because in the back of your mind you don't think he's guilty. Mm, well... What did Taylor have to gain killing Banker Watson? I don't know. He never said. Said he had a letter from Banker Watson, but he never produced it. Because it was stolen from him along with his $12,000. Oh, Shaw, sure. you believe that yarn? I think I know when a man is lying, and Taylor didn't lie. Then what become of the money and the letter? That's what I aim to find out, and you're going to help me. You know, it's a funny thing. Anybody else said that to me, I'd gun with him. But being an honest lawman, you'll right or wrong? Well, where do we start? Is this the poker the killer used? Yep. Exhibit B at the trial. I'll leave it where it is. I think it'll help us trap the killer. Now, look, up here. Well, Biggie, any news on the killer? Found fresh prints out near the caves, but no sign of the sidewinder. Well, if it ain't our little boy Blue, hop along, Cassidy. Something you wanted to take up with me, Biggie? Uh, no. Just wondering what snooping you're up to now. Biggie, 
Hop along's an old friend of mine. And if you can't keep a civil tongue in your head, vamoose. I seen that old wall was a rise with you, asking questions of the hotel clerk. Yeah, and if he finds out what I think he will, there's going to be another trial. But with a different defendant. What do you mean by that? Did it hit close to home, Biggie? Why, you yellow-livered... Now, boys, now. See, Sheriff? Remember that. Might come in handy sometime. Biggie's weak spot is the point of his chin. I never hated a man in my life like I do you, Hopalong Cassidy. And I'm warning you, the next time we meet, it'll be different. Hey, you got yourself a tough hombre there, Hopalong. I'm aiming to keep him tough. Like as not, he's headed for his gunslingers. He doesn't worry me, Sheriff. Well, getting back to this chilling. We figured Taylor was mad at being took in on that mining deal. So he killed Banker Watson, thinking he was to blame. Why did Biggie Griggs spend the night at the banker's home? Well, like Biggie said, the banker was afraid of his hombre. That was what Biggie said. Well, I'll meet you at Banker Watson's house in a half hour. I ain't got nothing much to do. We can go on right now. No, I got to pick up the California and then talk to a fellow about a hound dog. A hound dog? Ah, just playing a hunt, Sheriff. I'm not sure of anything yet. What'd you find out, Biggie? Plenty. Hop along Cassidy is digging into this killing. I don't like it. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Biggie, you remember I I told you my old mother ain't well. A past willow crack. You ain't leaving, Crud. You're in this too. Oh, but I don't feel good. You're gonna feel a mighty lot worse. I just seen that old walrus walking toward the banker's house, and he met some cowpoke. Cowpoke? Why, you idiot. Like as not, it was Cassidy. We got to move fast if he was going into the banker's house. Well, what do you mean? Don't ask questions. Get my boys to meet me here, Prado. That Cassidy's no fool. It's me or him. And I aim to still be around. Hoppy, this was the room Banker Watson was asleep in when he was killed. Awful uh, gruesome. Mm -hmm. Now, out here in the hall, next door was where Biggie was sleeping. He got out in the hall just in time to see this fella run down the hall and jump through the big front window. I see. Ran through this hall, turned this corner, went to the right room, and jumped through a window he didn't know was there. Uh, and didn't know it was there. Taylor just arrived in town an hour before. He'd never seen the house. Hey, that's right. He couldn't have. So Taylor had to go into a strange room, go to a fireplace in the dark, find the poker, go back to the right room, and kill someone he hadn't even met yet. Why, Hoppy, you're right. Uh, Sheriff, uh, you don't mind if we nose around a bit? There ain't no law in it. And while you're doing that, I got some looking up to do at the office. See you later, Sheriff. You might drop by to the office. Yeah, we'll do that. You know, Hoppy, a feller get uh, caught up jumping through a window like that. Not with his coat over his face. Looks like that window ain't been open for 50 years. All them spider webs across it. And... Yeah, from side to side. Looks like them vines a monkey swing on. You know, California, you just gave me the answer to something I was worried about. I did? Uh, about monkeys? No, about a human being. A vicious killer who's mighty smart, California. Hmm. Well, then, uh, are we looking any further? I'd like to take a look at that room where Biggie slept. This place is giving me the shivers, Hoppy. I can't see a darn thing. Oh! Hoppy! Ah. Ah. Good work, boys. Now get to the basement... And set fire to that kindling. Oh, why don't we just gun them down? Nah. When they find them in the ashes, don't want no bullet holes a showing. A man by the name of Taylor was convicted of a killing and sentenced to hang. But when Biggie Griggs and his gunmen started to take him themselves, the prisoner escaped. Hopalong is convinced Taylor is innocent. 
As he and California are looking over the scene of the killing, they're gun whipped down. Biggie and his men have started a fire in the basement. The dry timbers eat up the lash and flames as Hoppy and California struggle with their bonds. I'll try it. Oh, my hands are tight, tight. Uh, roll over this way. You have to work fast. Uh, can't make it, Hoppy. This dresser, something's in the way, and <coughs> I'll kick it over. Oh, good boy, California. Roll over near that glass and see if you can hang on to a piece of it. I just got it. Got it some. Quick. Roll over this way. Can you find me? I'm, I'm trying, Hoppy. Help me. Ah, uh, oh, there we are. Good old California. Now lie down with your back to mine. See if you can move your hands enough to saw the rope. We ain't got much time. The fire's coming under the door. Uh, there. You did it, California. You did it. Hold still now. We haven't much time. Just so you're safe, Hoppy. <coughs> there. Are you loose? Yep. Now for the rope around my ankles. Uh, there. Make the window a jump. How about you? Do as I say. I'll get out. I ain't a budging, Hoppy. There. Out the window, California. You all right? I'm boiling mad. Whoever wrapped me on the head is a grown-up pain. To... I have an idea who did it. Biggie Griggs. Prove it. Well, darn it, I can't, but I wish I could. I... Uh, what's wrong, Hoppy? I'm just thinking. By what? Funny no one comes to the fire. Unless. Unless what? Quick, California. We got riding to do. What's your hurry? It only means one thing. Griggs has got another posse together and they go out after Taylor. And they're probably headed for the bar 20. I'm with you, Hoppy. Oh, would I like to unload my six gun right into a bunch of them gunslingers? I'm a just hit you. I just hope we're not too late to stop in California. All right, Topper, let's go. Oh, Quick, California, to the hay barn. Think they've been here already, Hoppy? I don't know what to think. Hurry. Whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, Mrs. Taylor. Lying on her face. Yeah. Do you think she's... I don't know. Oh. Mrs. Taylor. Miss Cassidy, what happened? Oh, Mr. Cassidy, stop them. They've been here? I went out to talk to them. And they beat me with a whip. Why, oh, those dirty... Sidewind and cowards. Oh, stop them, William's gone. He's not here. Are you hurt, Ben? Oh, please don't worry about me. Please stop. Look, you go into the house. Lock the doors and wait. You'll bring William back. Ma'am, if anybody can, Hoppy will. Sheriff. Sheriff Bates. Well, maybe something happened to him too, Hoppy. He ain't here in his office. Them gunslingers ain't stopping till they turn this town upside down. Oh, it's you, Cassidy. You mighty near got a forty-five bullet. The gang got Taylor. They didn't know such thing. We just rode in from there. Taylor's locked in jail. In jail? He can't be. Yep, it's my sworn duty to uphold the law, and I'm doing it. But they beat you this time. No such thing. I took the south trail through Mesquite Pass. Beat him to your place. Went in the hay barn, took him out the back, and headed for them cottonwoods. Never did see me. Good, Sheriff. But the jail's not much better. It's rotten. Ah, they'll rip it apart. I ain't saying they can't take him. But Boot Hill will have some more recruits before they make it. Ah, uh, we have to do something and do it fast. Tampers are rising, the town's full of powder. Waiting for someone to light a fuse. If there was some way to prove Taylor ain't guilty. There is. By proving someone else did the killing. Looks like there ain't gonna be no time to do nothing. Only a confession can save Taylor now. You know darn well by this time who done it. Uh, darn right we do. We could get a confession. It's our only chance. As soon as dusk sets in, they'll be moving on the jail. We don't stand a chance unless we can pin the real killer down. And I think I have an idea. It's a long chance, but we've got to take it. Here we are, about to have a jail come down around our... Wait knees. a minute, Sheriff. California, I want you to do something that's worth a try. Anything you say, Hoppy? I want you to make the rounds of the cafes and card rooms and let fall here and there that the sheriff is getting a bloodhound from Sam Park. Now, wait. I ain't got a fight. Tell them that the dog will be here at 6 o'clock. A waste of good, valuable time. Do you have any other suggestions? Well, uh... Then go on, California. The sheriff and I wait here. And by the way, you might mention that the sheriff is going after the dog. 
Then you and I will stay out of sight and hope it works, Sheriff. Shut up, you fool. Want to get a mixed head of before time? Oh, Biggie, that fellow with the droopy mustache let drop that the sheriff is bringing in a bloodhound. What? Where's the dog? The sheriff's going after it. Well, that's good. But the dog ain't going to do so well. He ain't? Nah. Biggie Griggs is too smart for that. <laughs> Now, Sheriff, it's a long chance. If it works, we're safe. And if it don't? We're not any worse off. By now, California's had time to stop in a few places and... It's me. Well, lucky you spoke up. I'm getting trigger happy. Come in, California. Well, like you told me, I dropped in here and there about the dog. No, what happened? We wait. Of all the foolishness, what's going to bring the killer here? Come just behind this door. And the killer's gonna come in and give himself up. I hope that's the way it works. We've got about an hour for dusk. Ain't much time. We'll step back in here by the cell and leave the door open a crack. There, just a crack. Cassidy! Quiet, Taylor. This is your doing. I ain't got a chance. I should never have listened to you. Now we're all in the same trap, Taylor. They've got to take us first. Sheriff. What, hubby? Do one thing for me. What's that? If our plan works, let me out this door first. I'll be right behind you, hubby. Shh. Don't make a move. Rick. Where are you sneaking cub hook? Look, Rick, here's the poker. You do better kill him with a poker, Rick. Come get your man, Sheriff. He's got the poker in his hand. It worked, Choppy. Don't make me a killer. But you were afraid the bloodhound would make you one. You didn't dare let him sniff that poker. Get up. Hey, sit there where I can watch you. Riggs. You don't think my boy nor anybody else is going to believe you. We know it all along you were the coyote. Riggs, you... you'll get the same fair treatment that the boys offered Taylor. Nobody believes I'm a killer. You can't make them believe The that. bloodhound can. When the crowd knows what you've done, you'll get a hang loose along with Taylor. I'll Cassidy. chance that, Diggy. You had your say, now here's mine. That crowd will be here soon, you know yeah, that. Looks like some of them are heading this way now. They won't believe him. But they'll believe you. Uh, You're going to tell them you killed Baker, a banker, Watson. They ain't no man living can make me say that. You don't know how. Big. I'm going to talk fast, Biggie. You had Taylor come here to pay $12,000 for a worn-out mine. Banker Watson didn't go along with you. You sent word to Taylor to come to the banker's home. You'd already killed the banker, and when Taylor got there... Taylor himself said he heard someone go out that window. He thought he did. But you forgot to brush the spider webs across the window after you kicked the window out. Four of them are getting together out front. In a few minutes, they'll be in here, Biggie. Then I'll tell them you're in with Taylor. But they'll believe the dog. Bring him in, California. Uh, the dog? Yeah, Sam Park's bloodhound. I'll let him have the scent of the poker, then let him loose. You, you wouldn't do that. I have to no, do it. No, no, I you can't hold the crowd off any longer, huh? No. You know what mobs do, Biggie. No, no. They give me a high noose. And no, the dog no. will go right for you. No, no. I'll confess, I'll confess. I killed Watson. Lock me up. You're confessing in front of witnesses. And get me out of here. They're coming in. Well, Sheriff, I guess you got another border. And another thing. Where's that man's money or soul? <laughs> On a rafter. In my cook shack. All of it. Well, I guess that does it, Hoppy. You take Taylor back out to his wife, and I got to get this killer out in town and get him locked up so we can have a little quiet around here. Come on, California. Guess there's nothing else for us to do. So long, Sheriff. Thanks, Hoppy. Let's take Sam Park's dog back to him, California. Right, Hoppy. <laughs> How are you, boy? You want to go home? Hoppy, is this the dog? Sure. Y y you got a confession from Biggie Griggs on the strength of this mangy hound? He resents that, California. Well, I just hope it never leaks out that California cross and call this moldy, flea-bitten critter a bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy. But be sure to be back with us soon when Hoppy and California will again ride out from the Bar 20 into more dangerous adventure and action. 
Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Killers of Sandy Ghost was written by Howard Swart. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>